So good morning learners uh, class 4. Uh, today I will be taking you through maths. Uh, and today we want to look into number patterns involving multiplication. I know you've been doing multiplication and uh, the last lesson you did was uh, estimating products by a rounding off numbers for the nearest 10. Like for example, you need uh, estimation, like for example, you are given that 2 multiplied by 15. You try to estimate by rounding off the nearest 10. How do you round off the nearest 10, Nana? The number that 2 rounded off the nearest 10, you take the number on the one side. If that number is 0 to 4, this number become, this becomes 0 and the same 10 remains. If the number is 0 to 5, I mean nine, uh, 5 to 9, this changes to be 0 and you add 1 on the 10th side. So for this case, 2 is the number on the 1 side and therefore 2 lies between 0 to 4. So this automatically becomes 0 and you don't add anything here. So this becomes 30 multiplied by, look at 15. 15, you look at the number on the one side. The number on the one side is um, is between 5 to 9, meaning that you are going to put this as a 0 and you are going to add 1 there. So this number is going to become 20. So you multiply with 20 and if you did this well, you got 600. That is multiplication by estimating rounding off to nearest 10. Now today we want to look into number patterns and I give you examples of number patterns like for example, you can have a number pattern like um, 4, 8, 16, uh, 16, uh, and 20. So we want to understand what has happened to this number pattern. What is happening to the first number for us to be able to get to the second number? If you look at this, you realize that the first number has been multiplied by 2 to get the second number. So if you multiply 4, by two, because you are talking about number patterns involving multiplication, meaning that you multiply four by two, you are getting the next number. So this next number, if you try to multiply it by two, you get the next number. But look here, Anna. this is sixteen, this is twenty. So what has happened to twenty? So for us to be able to understand this, so four times two, eight, and then. 8 times 2, 16, and then this is 20. This 4 times 5 to get 20. Maybe that will, uh, will, will be a, a, bit, uh, a bit, bit complicated. Let me pick for you another one that seems to be very simple for you, Lana. You can have 6, you can have 12. We have uh, 12, 24, and 48. Now this will serve us what I wanted to teach. So for us to get the second number, this will be multiplied by 2. So 6 times 1, you get 6. Then 6 times 2, you get 12. From there, 12 times 2, you get 24. And then 24 times 2, 48. So this number is, every number is multiplied by 2. For you to be able to get the next number. So 6 by 2, get 12 by 2, 24 by 2, uh, 48. So in our next, we can be able to determine the next two numbers by getting the first number. This, if, if each number is multiplied by 2, meaning that if you get 48, you multiply that by 2, you get the next number. And this will give you 96. From there, 96 is going to be multiplied by 2 to give you 192. So our next number here will be 192. So number one is to realize what is happening to the first number before you start to carry out any, any multiplication. See what has happened. To see the difference between 12 and 6. The difference is 6. Some other people will, will get the difference that from 6 to, to, to 12, they added 6. Here they added 12. Here they added 24. Here they added, so we are here. This is not there. Try to remove it. So if you, are, if you look at this one, 6 to 12, 
these are the molar by 2, molar by 2, molar by 2 to negative next number, which will be 48, and therefore, 14 plus 14 will give you 96. You move the next number, multiply this by 2, you'll get 96. So 96 plus 96, you get 192. Lana, that is what we are doing. So you can do it either way, check the difference, and see how is the difference increasing. By what amount? Is it by what line? By 2 or by 3 or by whatever number you get there. So that is the pattern, the first pattern I have been able to see. Maybe we get another pattern. You can have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Let's see another. If you look at this, the first number is 5. From 5 to 10 means this number is in order by 2. When you get the difference, you get that this between here you have 5, so plus 5, 10 to 15, again plus 5, then plus 5. You realize the difference is 5 all through. The difference is plus 5. This number plus this one, you get this number here. This plus this, you get this. This plus this, you get this. This plus this. So for us to be able to get the next number here, we get 25 plus 5. And therefore, our next number there will be that. Because the difference is 5 all through. So you can decide to. This was followed by 2. Five, uh, 5 was followed by 1. You can. Uh, by 1, you get 5. Then 5 times 2, you get 10. 5 times 3, 15. 5 times 4, 20. You can be able to see this. So we move from 1 uh, to, five, uh, mean to 6. 5 times 6, you get the next number. So I want to give you another one. You can be taught to complete the pattern. For example, complete, complete the pattern. Why don't you look at this pattern, Lana? 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 1 times 4 sorry it should be 3 times 1 get 3 3 times 2 6 3 times 3 9 so 3 times 4 then 3 times 5 3 times 6 and then you write us the pattern this is very very simple remember we talked about uh, advisors and Factors and uh, all those. So 3 times 4 will give you 12. 3 times 5 will give you 15. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. And so this is the pattern that you have. So you write it there 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So that is the pattern. So after getting the, 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 the multiples here, you can really get the pattern from 3 to 6. 3 has been over by 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4, 3 times 5, 3 times 6 to get the next number there. I want to give you two more examples before we finish up what we wanted to teach today. That would be, what is the next number? What is the next number? In each, in each of the patterns below, of the patterns below, that is the question. And so I think uh, a pattern like 8, 16, 24, and that 2. So you want to get the next, the next number in that pattern. So what has happened to 8 to become 16? It has been multiplied by 2. Then this 8 times 3, you get 24. So develop the, uh, I mean the multiplication table for 8. 8 times 1, you get 8. 8 times 2, you get 16. 8 times 3, you get uh, 24. 8 times 4, that's 2. Look at this pattern, 8. 
16, 24, 32. So this pattern, the next number will be 8 times 5, and that is going to give you 40. So our answer here is going to be 40. That is going to be our answer. I give you the last one, Lana. That is going to be our so pattern like 1, 3, 9, and then 7. Let's see here, Lana. 1, 3, 9, and then 7. So, what we can get here is that uh, from 1 to 3, 1 was not level 1, you get 1. 3, 3 times 1, you get 3. 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 3, 27. So, for us to get the other number, we multiply this by 3. And that's going to give you at the 1. 1, 3, 9. Let's get multiples of 9. So 3 times 1, 3. 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 4, 7, 3. 9. 3 times 5, 4. 3 times 4, 12. 3 times 5, 15. 3 times 6, 18. 3 times 7, 21. 3 times 8. So 3 times 4, 3 times 6, 18, 21, 3 times 8, you get 24. Now if you look at this formula, it's not a pattern that is having different numbers. One of them is there. Then the other one is 9. Then the other one is 4, 3 times 9, which is going to be 27. So our next, our next uh, pattern here is going to be 3, 9 times 3, 27. And so this is going to be uh, uh, 8 to 1. Going to be 8 to 1. So this one has no, uh, I mean, uh, uh, some sequence that you can be able to follow. But if you follow that learner, I'm going to get it right. I give you the last one and give you a lot of work that you're going to do at home. Uh, give you one uh, that is uh, 5, 10, next one 20, and 40. Let's see the next number. 5 has been multiplied by 2 to get the next number. So, this multiplied by 2 to get the next number, multiplied by 2 to get the next number, and so this will be multiplied by 2 to get the next number, which is 8. Then you can be able to see that. We are doing multiplication, and so, that's why we are saying multiply, we are not saying adding, because what we are doing, our topic is multiplication. So, 5 times 2 to get the next number, 10 times 2 to the next number, 20 times 2 to get the next number, so definitely the next number will be 4 times 2, which is going to give you 8. So I want to look at exercise L. Exercise L. I want to do number 1. And then number 2. Number 1 is just A, B, and C. Then number 2, I want to do question number. 2B, 2B, F, so before F, we have E, B, E, then uh, the next one will be F. Those are enough questions to practice what we have learned. Today, do the work well, arrange your questions well, let the work be very clear, then you forward as the teacher for Maki. So Lana, we've come to the uh, end of the lesson today, and in our next lesson, Lana, we are going to do division of uh, 
up to two digit number by one digit number without a reminder. So until next time, Lana, have a blessed day and may God continue blessing you.